Hello and welcome to an episode of the AWS Ninja. This episode will try and demonstrate how to use AWS WAF in order to protect parts of your application against unwanted traffic with CAPTCHA challenges. So basically you want to use, you want to use CAPTCHAs when you set up protections for specific behaviors or, or specific parts of your application. So we'll take you through a few different use cases for AWS CAPTCHA and uh, we'll start with the most maybe straightforward one and that's protection for your login page. So what you want to do basically if you don't have an AWS web uh, a policy or a web ACL, you want to create uh, a new web ACL and you want to create it in the region in which you need the asset to be protected. Most typically you will protect applications uh, when they go through AWS's CDN which is CloudFront but for this example let's create you know a, a web ACL in a different region let's use North Virginia for example. So I don't have any web ACLs created yet so let's create a new web ACL. We'll give it a name. and we will choose to have it created in North Virginia. For this demonstration, I'm not going to create any rules in it uh, during the creation phase. I want, just want to click through it, the blank rules, default allow, no rule priorities because there is no, uh, there are no rules in it. Uh, and I want to enable sampled requests and that's pretty much everything I need to set up. So let's create this web ACL. So now I have a new web ACL they can, I can start creating rules in. So again, let's start with the most basic capture usage, which is protection for your login page or sign up page or any page you don't want to allow automated access into. So I'll create a new rule, my own rule. Let's say I want to challenge on a login page. It would be a regular rule and I want to match only requests that send traffic uh, to, a, to a URI that starts with login. So any URI that starts with login, probably your login page, I want to challenge with a CAPTCHA. So for the action for this match, I want to use CAPTCHA and I can choose other intervals. So immunity time means how often do I want to challenge my users after they, after they have successfully solved the CAPTCHA? In this case, the default is 300 seconds, but for the login page, I want to you know, allow people more time than every five minutes or so when they try to log in, they need to reapply or reprove they are human. So let's give them a better immunity, which is something like three days. So once they solve a CAPTCHA for the login page, I will not challenge that specific browser uh, for the next three days. Obviously, if the user, you know, deletes cookies, we can no longer track that uh, the user has solved the CAPTCHA, so AWS will re-challenge them. Basically, this is it, right? So let's add this rule, and now whatever I, whenever I have traffic that hits a slash login, the, the user will be challenged with an AWS CAPTCHA. Uh, another use case for using CAPTCHA is to limit specific countries. Um, so not, not blocking countries, but limit traffic from specific countries, because if we have no business with these countries, we probably don't want to allow any non-human traffic from those countries. So let's add another rule that says, you know, we don't want to allow um, traffic to our search page. Let's say we have multiple products and we don't want any bots to be searching our application uh, unless they come from, I don't know, within the United States, right? So let's add another rule, again, a custom rule. This would be challenge non-US, right? And it will again be a regular rule, but this statement will be a compound statement with an end connector between the two statements, between the two conditions. And by that, we'll select, select that if originating country is not US, Oops, sorry. And again, uh, let's do a simple URI match. The URI path starts with search. And again, capture. In this case, we want to capture uh, the capture challenge to be presented more frequently than three days, once every three days. So let's set it at, I don't know, 
30 minutes, right? Um, so we want to challenge every 30 minutes all users who try and reach the search page from countries which are not the US. Cool. Let's add that group. Uh, it doesn't really matter which comes first. Uh, actually, I want to protect the login page even for... Uh, actually, it's different different condition matches, so order doesn't make any sense here. Uh, so just let's save it at this order. And the third use case I want to do for CAPTCHA is if someone is having too many requests come in from a single IP address. I want to challenge these users if they create too much traffic, too much noise. So again, add rule my own rule uh, let's say challenge on high rates if someone is uh, creating a high rate of traffic this would be a rate based rule and let's say if someone creates more than a thousand requests within a five minute period from the same source ip i want to challenge them right i want to challenge regardless of where they're sending their requests um, so it will be all requests. If I want to challenge them only if they have more than a thousand requests of a specific nature, I can create another condition, right? So over a thousand requests, challenge them and challenge them repeatedly every five minutes. That would be a simple enough configuration. But let's say I want to challenge them only if what they're trying to grab is not an image, right? So I can say I can only rate limit if it's not a URI that starts with slash images. Let's say all of my images are stored in slash images. So in this case, I can say, okay, you can grab how many images you want, but all, all of your other requests, if you go over a thousand in a five minute period, I'm gonna challenge you. And I'm gonna keep challenging you every five minutes if you continue with your, the, you know, this, this kind of behavior. And I'll add this rule, and I'll put this rule at the very um, at the very end because it will it will be like a catch all, right? It will catch all of the requests, and that was pretty much it. So now I have a simple WebACL. It has three rules in it: one that challenge users when they try to log in, one that challenge users when they try to hit the search page from non-US IP addresses, and one that challenge users if they have more than a certain number of requests come in to anything other than images. Okay, so this was pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.